Hello and welcome. My name's Mark Street. I'm head teacher at St Mary and St Margaret's School. I have to say we are very much looking forward to welcoming your children in September. Uh, sadly, because of the current situation, um, we're not able to show you around in person at the moment, but hopefully this video and the pack you will have received from our early years team will help to answer some of your questions um, and give you a, a little bit of a flavour of our school. I'm going to talk to you for a, for a few minutes about our values and a few other bits and pieces that you need to know. And I just want to encourage you to, to read in detail the parent guide and other information that you'll have received. If you have any questions, please do get in touch uh, via the school office. Now, the first thing I want to do is just to reassure those of you who will be leaving your children with us um, in our care for the first time, uh, we really do care about your children. That's what we're in the job for. And we promise to look after them. Often the initial drop off is harder for mums and dads than it is for the children. I, I know I've been there with my three children. Lots of children will be a bit nervous when they come to school for the first time. That is natural. Uh, there will sometimes be tears. We'll be doing all that we can to settle some of those nerves with some outdoor activities in the first week um, that you'll be able to be present for. And we're hoping to give the children a look around the classroom, give them a chance to meet the staff, um, and you'll have information about the initial induction into school life in your packs. So please do have a look so that you know what's happening. Very often children will shed a few tears when they have to say goodbye to mum and dad, but almost always it will only be for a few minutes, more often a few seconds, before they're happily involved in some activity inside. Uh, so really try not to worry. We will let you know if there are any big problems. Now, this is where I could talk for a long time. What is special about our school? Well, a good place to start is the children. We are very, very proud of our children. If you manage to come um, for a look around before the lockdown, hopefully you will have seen for yourselves that children enjoy being at our school. They're happy, they're cared for, and they're almost always engaged in their learning. Right at the top of our priority list, whenever we appoint any member of staff, is finding someone who cares and shares our caring ethos. Someone who will look after your child, look after every child, and help them through whatever difficulties they might face. My staff are wonderfully caring and the children really do matter to each one of them. We also very much have a family ethos. When we welcome your child into school, we want you to feel a part of our community too. School and home is absolutely a partnership. We want to involve you wherever we can. Um, obviously, that's a little bit more difficult right now. Um, we like to think of our school as one big family. Our Christian character is central to who we are as a school. And our collective worship times are very much about coming together as a school family and building the values of our school together. As you may know, that's also a little more difficult at the moment with rules about the numbers of children gathering together. But we're continuing to place an emphasis on collective worship through virtual worship times. And if you want to get a little taster for what worship is like in our school um, or you want to give your children a chance to take a look and, and feel a bit more familiar with this, then do take a look at all the worship sessions or assemblies on our YouTube channel. At St Mary and St Margaret's, we are very much about valuing the whole child. Our values are right at the heart of our curriculum and what we want to help our children to achieve and to become. So let me tell you a little bit more about our values now. Our values are split into five purposes. These, we think, show what we're all about and are what we measure any new initiatives by. Whatever we do, whatever we ask the children to do, we're all about being the best we can be. That's something the children will hear a lot. It's not about being better than everyone else. It's about being the best possible version of ourselves, whether that's in the academic, whether it's being a good friend, whether it's dealing with tough situations, uh, whatever, be the best you can be. That's the message. Now, you'll see that for each of our overarching values, there are three or four sub values. And we would normally particularly focus on one of these each half term. We have a value 
of the half term. Children are encouraged to particularly think about and demonstrate that value and to look out for each other demonstrating it too. And then at the end of the half term, someone in each class is presented with the special values award for championing that value. Our first overarching value or purpose is the one that you can see here, being the best we can be by growing as children of God. This value is all about helping children to find their place in our world, working out who they are and what they believe. And you can see uh, the three sub values as part of this. We want children to absolutely feel that they belong and to help others to feel the same way. We want them to have the freedom to be themselves. That's individual liberty and to believe that they can aim high and be who they want to be. And we give children opportunity to explore what they believe and what others believe and to begin to work through this aspect of their lives. Our second purpose is we want children to enjoy their learning. It's really important to us. We want them to enjoy coming to school, to feel the excitement of learning new things and to want to go away and continue to learn more for themselves, even when they're not in school. Lifelong learning is so important in our ever changing world. And we aim to equip children with the enthusiasm and the tools that they need to go on learning throughout their lives. You can see um, our values of creativity, enthusiasm and teamwork. They all speak for themselves, I think. We also want children to grow up caring, caring about themselves, first of all, um, taking a pride in who they are and in their work, caring about each other, their friends, their classmates, their teachers, the school, the wider world, the environment and so on. Um, all of these things are so important, we believe, in helping children to become active, positive, happy members of society who will make a difference in the world around them. Obviously, we wouldn't be much of a school if we didn't care about our children achieving. It is so important that we send children out with fundamental skills of reading, writing, oracy and maths. And, and we do have a big focus on those areas, as you might expect. But those are not the only things that children can or should achieve in. We pride ourselves on a rich and varied curriculum. Some children will find particular um, strengths in parts of the curriculum, such as sport or art or music or drama or humanities. We want children to find their passions, to develop their talents and to be the best that they can be in every area. And we talk lots with children about persevering and aiming for excellence rather than just settling for work that is good enough. And our final purpose is helping children be the best they can be through personal development. Now, this is all about those other life skills that are so important, knowing how to deal with it when they fall out with their friends, dealing with difficult emotions, developing independence, building self-esteem and confidence, all so important to living a happy and successful life. So those are our values then, all about trying to help children to be the best possible version of themselves in all areas of life. Now, this might look a little bit different at the moment. In normal times, we very much operate an open door policy in school. If you're worried about something, if your child is struggling with something or there's something you need to tell us or ask us, we always encourage parents to get in touch. Um, talk to your child's teachers. If you need to, talk to me. Um, but do tell us. We would much rather um, hear about it, be able to deal with things rather than leave you and your child upset or worrying about something. Very often there are quick explanations or quick solutions that can make all the difference. Um, and if something is more serious, then we really do need to know about it so that we can make things better. That is what we're here for. Right now, um, the open door, sadly, is, is more of a metaphorical one, um, as in order to protect the children, we're not able to welcome parents physically into school, but still do get in touch with a phone call or an email or a note. Now, I've left this slide in because hopefully it won't be forever um, that we can't invite you into school. 
as I've said, we absolutely want you to feel part of our school, of the school family. So even whilst the virus is with us, we will look for some ways to involve you in activities in school. Uh, we already have a few ideas about how we might do this. But here's the list of things that we would normally invite you to be involved in. Hopefully it won't be too long before these things become possible again. One way you absolutely can be involved, and I can't emphasise the importance of this enough, is by supporting your child's learning at home. If you do nothing else, can I encourage you to read daily with your child, reading to them, um, and as they get older and learn more, often helping them to read to you. Um, all the research points to the importance of reading at home with your children. It makes a massive difference to children's life chances. Um, and as many of you will know, reading your child a story is also a really lovely part of the day. A, a real time for building bonds, um, as well as helping your child learn about language and about the world around them. Even as children get older and head into key stage one and two, um, reading will remain their main homework as we see it as being that important. Children in both nursery and reception will also be given logins for the excellent online phonics program, Reading Eggs. Um, and those in reception will also have a chance to join in with Mathletics. Uh, both the platforms keep track of children's progress. They can be used on a tablet, they offer certificates and other rewards and can really help support children's learning as well as being fun for them to use. So please do encourage your children to get involved with those. A couple of other things to mention to you now. We do have a very good school website where you can find significant dates, letters that have been sent out, information about our curriculum and other policies. For news and sometimes messages, I would encourage all of you to sign up to our Twitter account. If you're not already on Twitter, even if we're the only people you follow, it's worth signing up to the school account um, and also the early years Twitter account. Uh, these will keep you in touch with so much that's going on in school and also in your child's class. Um, it's one of our key forms of communication. If you need help setting this up, let us know. Something that I must mention, you'll see it underlined. Um, I've put it in red, I've put it in bold. Please, please, please make sure all items of your child's uniform are named. Otherwise, the moment they get too hot, they take off their jumper, or the moment they get changed for PE, um, they're likely to lose their clothes. I also want to talk briefly about attendance and punctuality. Uh, getting your child to school every day on time really does make a difference. If children miss the start of the day, they'll often miss um, key learning or those moments when they're helped to settle into the school day. And likewise, if they miss lots of days when the rest of the children are in school learning, um, they're likely to miss key learning and it makes coming back to school and their learning more difficult for them. Um, it can also affect confidence and friendships as well. In particular, um, we do not and are actually not allowed to authorise term time holidays, um, except in the very most exceptional of circumstances. So please do use the school holidays um, for times when you want to go away. And before I move on, just to draw your attention to arrangements for drop off and pick up times, uh, please, if at all possible, walk your children to school each day. Uh, this avoids traffic congestion. It increases safety around school. It's healthy, it can be a very sociable start as you chat with your child on the way to and from school. Really good for your child. The walk is a good way of helping their brain to get going and getting them ready for, for learning at the start of the school day. If you live too far away, please use the Remembrance Club or Hickory Smokehouse car parks. Walk just the last little bit. Um, we've got a special arrangement with both places to allow you to park um, during drop off and pick up times. Please, please avoid parking in the drop off zone at the front of school. This is just for children in years one to six who are dropped at the gate and then come straight into school. Thank you for your support in this. The final thing I'm going to do is to give a big plug for our school dinners. There's always a good choice of meals, hot, cold, vegetarian, non-vegetarian. I have one every day, um, so I can vouch for them. They're tasty, they're healthy, 
Um, for children in reception to year two, they're also free. Um, nursery dinners cost just two pounds a day for those that stay. Mrs. Me and our school cook is very flexible. She works really hard to accommodate different children's needs. She's also really good at getting to know the children, their preferences uh, and their personalities. Just to mention though, to parents of children in reception, and um, those who are entering reception, please do make sure that you register for your universal infant free school meals and see the details in your pack um, to know how to do this, really important. That's just about it from me. And um, please do take the time to read through everything in your packs um, that you've been sent. Show your children the special video designed for them. Have a good read of our parents guide. Uh, do be aware though, some aspects are likely to be a little bit different um, at the present time due to COVID-19. We will send out more information um, about this once we've updated our risk assessments for the new term. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and um, please do get in touch if you've got any questions. We really can't wait to welcome your children into school in September um, and to see you face to face as well. Take care, stay safe, um, have a lovely summer.